In the previous two videos, we were covering how to inspect the timing belt and how to remove the front end. Links for those videos should be in the description. In this video, we will be covering how to remove the engine head. If you don't want to get dirty, put your gloves on. Let's begin. Loosen the clamp that holds intake tube to the intake manifold. Remove the two bolts which hold the injector fuel rail and pull on it upwards. Disconnect the vacuum hose from the fuel pressure regulator valve and place the rail away from you by the firewall. Now get your pliers and remove the clamp from the coolant access return line. Then disconnect the hose. Now undo the bolt that holds the coolant line to the intake manifold. Unscrew the coolant overflow canister. It is secured by three screws. Under the canister unplug the coolant level sensor and then disconnect the hose on the front. There's about 10 bolts that hold intake manifold to the engine head. Remove them all. Unplug the sensor from the intake manifold. I think it's the air temperature sensor. Remove the oil tips. To remove this coolant pipe, you have to unbolt two short 10 mm bolts from the flange behind the head. Space is very tight, but it's doable. I was not able to get a good shot of that flange, so you will have to find the bolts yourself. Unclamp the valve from top of this pipe, and then disconnect the hose. There's one more hose, I believe, on the front of this pipe. I was not able to get a good shot of this as well. well. To flip this intake, like you see, you will have to remove the support located in the front of the manifold. When you flip, you will find a rail with two electric valves. It takes three bolts to remove the rail, then disconnect any hoses that are still attached to the intake manifold. Depending on the year, make and model of your car, you may have two bolts per coil that hold them down to the valve cover. Remove the bolts, unplug the wiring harness, and pull the coils out. On this wiring, you will find the ground bolted down to the valve cover. Disconnect the wire and replace the bolt. Remove all 10 mm nuts from the valve cover. There are two clips that hold the wire harness to the valve cover. Unclip the wire harness and move the wire harness away from you. There's a bolt behind the head and a few more on the passenger side of the valve cover which hold the vacuum pipe and the turbo oil lines. Remove all of these bolts. Now pull on the vacuum pipes to disconnect it. It will help if you loosen the clamps so you don't tear any rubber. Loosen and disconnect various vacuum tubes on the front to free up the valve cover. Heat shield just above the turbo is secured with four 8mm bolts. Remove the heat shield. Move away anything that is in the way of the valve cover and remove the valve cover. Remove the two plastic oil splash guards from the top of the intake valve. Now using the special tool, loosen and remove 10 head bolt. The tool is called poly drive and it could be purchased on eBay. Now remove the combi valve that is attached to the head with three bolts. It will take some time. Now using a 17mm socket, unbolt the exhaust manifold from the turbo. Well, I guess at this point you can remove the head. Just simply lift it up and uh, just to let you know, it is a very heavy piece of machinery. So be careful, watch your feet, don't drop it. And it would be good if you prepare some kind of a carbon board or a place where you can uh, place it because there's going to be a lot of oil still leaking out of it and might be some coolant as well. 